Your subject isn't the only subject I take. Okay? I had a- Oh my god, this is so hard. Hi, um, I'm here for the interview for the new maths teacher. Hello, Petal. Because we've had such a large intake of people applying to be the new maths teacher, we're just going to ask you to go down the corridor and on the left and you'll find a room full of students. They'd just like to give you a bit of advice before you become a teacher. Oh, okay, thanks. Alright, sir. We don't like it when you choose the groups. We choose the groups. Opposite to popular belief, we like it when you talk about your personal life because it wastes time. But just so you know, when we all fail your lesson, it's your fault. School holidays are for sleeping and eating, not homework. That's all. That's all. Your subject isn't the only subject I take. Okay? I had an essay to plan for English, an experiment to plan for science, and a speech to plan for French. So I'm sorry that I didn't have time to draw a poster about World War II for you. I thought it was irrelevant. You may have been awake since 7 in the morning and have had 4 cups of coffee. I just got out of bed 25 minutes ago. So please can you turn your excitement level down to 2? Because we don't all love Pythagoras' theorem as much as you do. Oh, you teach sports? I don't like sports. If you're one of those people that's nice and funny up until the one time I forget my homework, then get out. Your personality is too confusing for me. If you ask a question and you don't get any response, it's because we don't know the answer. So don't pick someone at random to answer the question, because chances are you're probably going to embarrass them in front of the whole class. If you're one of those people that's like normally quite level-headed and funny, but sometimes you can just snap don't. Because you will get laughed at. And finally, if you have a funny surname, please change it. Can you remember Miss Shufflebottom? <laughs> yeah, and Mrs. Clickguard. <laughs> oh my god, Miss Double D. <laughs> Mr. Hard and Long. Honestly though, I do sometimes feel sorry for teachers because of some of the stuff they have to put up with and especially supply teachers because when you're a supply teacher, none of the kids do any of the work the seating plan just gets chucked out the window and everyone misbehaves apart from me, because I'm like an angel One time I did throw a piece of pasta to the front of the room Rebel And I've only ever had one detention Because I'm a good boy, why can't people just behave? Life is so much easier But one time I did push the shoes off the shoe rack but that was because my friend said if I didn't do it, she'd kiss me, so I was like, ooh, girls. Thanks for watching this video. If you agree that teachers need to understand the things that I said in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, make sure you click subscribe and watch some of my other videos. Absolute sass.